Alright everybody, welcome back. We got the JP update note, finally. And uh, I will say that I am severely surprised at what the live stream actually had for us. I had originally thought that we would get the uh, collab um, update, but uh, no, we got uh, disasters. And um, they actually seem pretty okay. Uh, I wouldn't call them broken or anything. Uh, now, there was a little issue a couple hours ago uh, with uh, Valenti here. Um, apparently, her passive was mistranslated on GCD database, where it said increased all allies' pierce rate and crit rate damage by the value equal to 50% of the hero's crit resistance. Now, that was a big deal because Valenti if she would have actually gave the whole uh, party the pierce rate and crit damage and then stuff like um, Escanor, the one obviously and uh, Sario would just go nutty burr damage all over the damn place so I'm happy that you know it was mistranslation uh, so it's only her that's getting the buffs. Now I know a lot of people are, are disappointed in that. But you also got to remember that if she would have actually gotten the whole party, you know, a cr the buffs and shit like that, then that is pretty much the only team you're going to see. Because with that, she's given so much pierce and crit rate that... Escanor and uh, Sariel are just going to do absolute shit ton of damage and you're not going to be able to come back from it if you're going second. So I'm kind of happy. Uh, also kind of sad, you know, I would have loved to see Valenti clap up Escanor, but hey, you know, I'm not too mad. Um, I'm also going to pull up, yeah, it's this one right here, uh, the GCD database, Grand Cross uh, actual Twitter. It's just her saying, you know, she's sorry, uh, the unique, she read the unique wrong, uh, and that just buffs herself. You know, this is good. I'm really happy that she, uh, actually, uh, I guess, uh, fixed her wrongdoing, I guess. It's not really her wrongdoing, she just misread it, you know. I'm very happy that she made sure everyone knows that she actually misinterpreted the text so very happy uh anywho getting back to the actual update i spent quite a long time on that uh for valenti here uh she inflicts four uh three inflicts severe damage equal to 300 percent of attack on enemies i don't know what that three is there right but that's okay uh sever is three x crit chance I'm you know, pretty okay. That's uh, I believe Sario has that as well. Not exactly too sure, but uh, her second one, Focus Rocket Punch, inflicts damage equal to 400% of attack on one enemy, nullifying all skill effects, including ultimate moves for two turns, including stance and recovery. That's pretty good. So like um, the Assault Mode Meliodas team, uh, the Droll, and uh. Esterosa are getting their stances and shit like that removed, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Event Horizon increases damage dealt by 50% and decreases damage taken by 50% for 3 turns. Inflict damage equal to 350% of attack on all enemies. This is very good. Uh, you know, reducing damage taken and also increasing damage. Uh, we really don't know what she's looking like right now because this is just all on paper. I know they showed a little bit of stats and stuff like that in the live stream, but I don't know how her gear was in that live stream. The gear might have been really bad on her. So we're going to have to wait and see exactly how her stats play out. But just looking at her kit, uh, she's a fairly okay unit. Uh, I would not recommend summoning on this for the fact that I believe something big is going to come because i feel like this is just a bait banner and something big in the next month or two is going to drop and everyone's going to be pissed off because they don't got gems because of all these bait banners but anywho we have a uh, red easton 
finally has dropped. Now she looks actually really good. Uh, she decreases damage that allies take from single target attacks by 6% for each uh, disaster unit in the team, including the subhero. So if you have a full 7 disaster team, like let's say uh, Red East and Green Valenti, uh, Green Roxy, and like Red Shin in the back, I don't know, just something random. Uh, they will have a 24% damage reduction for single target attacks. Now, a lot of units in the game have single target, so this is going to be really good, I think. But, again, I wouldn't really recommend summoning, but that's all on you guys, of course. Now, her first skill, Water Kick, inflicts damage equal to 450% of attacks on one enemy and depletes three ultimate move gauge orbs that's really good i think that's the same as lilia the blue one but for a single target now this skill right here the bubble shower th uh removes debuffs from all allies grants debuff immunity and increases defense related stats by 80 percent for three turns this is really good, but you know who else has this kind of skill? Red Elizabeth. If we go down here, her uh, blue skill right here removes debuffs on all allies, grants debuffs, immunity, increases defense related stats by three or eighty percent for three turns. So just judging by, oops, that's not it. I'll get rid of that. Judging by how this skill looks right here. I believe it's just going to be the same exact skill as what the Red Elizabeth does. So on her rank 1 she'll just remove debuffs, her rank 2 she'll probably uh, give the debuff, uh, remove the debuffs and increase the defense related stats by 50% for uh, her rank 2. Um, they could buff her of course and give her something on like her rank 1 other than the remove debuffs but uh, just for right now she's probably looking the same as Red Elizabeth now her ultimate uh, Tristane Finn I think is how you pronounce that inflicts spike damage equal to 350% of attack on all enemies 2x crit damage increase uh, you know that's standard I think that's on every single uh, Easton card so nothing too much there now we go down to the gotcha and I'm gonna let you know before we even see these units this banner is horrendous moving down we have tickets and gym option of course but finally we get down to the banner all units on this banner have the same 0.25% so that means the, the Valenti and the new Easton are going to have the same rank as everyone else down here so there's the green Lilia blue Lilia and the red Lilia I believe this one right here is the original green Valenti uh, Noblis Easton which is the blue one red and blue mono original red roxy original game gamer shin the green one and i believe this is the red camilla i don't think we have another camilla i could be wrong though so yeah this banner is fucking trash i would not recommend summoning on it again i know that's the third time but like Jesus, this banner is bad, 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 bad uh, for rates and shit like that. But uh, you'll have, of course, the 300 and 600 uh, mileage points for a guaranteed SSR and one of the new units. So that is also very nice. <coughs> uh, just looking here. Okay, so the bonus unit you obtain from the mileage reward will be fully awakened to level 80 and you are so that's kind of an added bonus that they've been doing recently um, 
<clears throat> that's kind of good. Uh, saving you some nats. You already have the unit. Uh, they just give you a platinum coin, I guess. And awaken it. Uh, Nanashi will be added to the part one race ticket in the future. So this right here, I think, is the SR ticket. I could be totally wrong on that, but uh, for right now, he'll be added in the future. Kind of bad, but whatever. Moving down, we got new Valenti outfits, and honestly, they look really good. I like this uh, black and red one a little bit better than this one, but that's just me. Uh, they both look exceptional, honestly. Uh, I think they did really good with how she looks. Um, yep, they're going to cost you about like 30 bucks or something like that. And then afterwards, they'll uh, be transferred to the 30 diamonds per piece. Going down, they have a TV anime new season airing commercial. Or com uh, I can't pronounce that. I just woke up not even an hour ago. Uh, login event. So from... I think that's tomorrow. I don't know what today's date is, but whatever. Uh, to the 10th of February. Uh, before the maintenance for seven days, you'll begin these following. So SSR ticket, SSR pendant, three gems, three um, coins, uh, another ticket, another SSR pendant, another gem. Gem thing. That's good. Um, you know, just more stuff to come, I guess. Now, we have a uh, disaster special battle. Now, global people actually kind of had the same event, except they have it better because they're able to form it. This time, on JP, we're not able to form it. I guess from just what I've been reading around, um, you'll be able to face this once a day with all three of these guys. And... Uh, be able to get their mats and stuff uh, moving down here is all the stuff that you can get with uh, all these guys up here they're different mats so Volent he has a new outfit very very nice giving her more CC uh, also Easton is getting another outfit as well very nice and of course uh, if you guys haven't picked them up already then the old outfits for the previous disasters are here as well and then going up a little bit more it just looks like it's just regular um, different stuff I guess for the event we have some special missions of course I think every update they are just gonna put this out now uh, these rewards are really shafted from all the previous ones that we've had uh, they don't even give us SSR pendants. That's really sad. Not even a full hammer uh, set as well. That's really sad as well. Um, yeah, these are just kind of mid, honestly. But it's free stuff. I can't really complain. Uh, World Quest missions are back. Uh, before the maintenance, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Growth support event so salvage great success and super great success right up hero enhancement great success and super great success main quest ap is uh 50 off and you'll be able to revive once free per day um going down we have another uh, oh i don't know how to actually say this uh, it's like a gotcha type thing you you all know what this is if you've been playing long enough um rewards aren't really that good except the mono and uh <coughs> red lilia outfit finally getting some more outfits for these guys very good for mono because i don't think she has very many and evil lilia i don't think she has very many either so that's good on both of them uh, moving down, yep, normal, oh yeah, it's roulette, not gotcha. Sorry, I'm still half asleep. Uh, so, four SA coins, uh, only four hammers, really? Uh, yeah, this this isn't very good. Uh, moving down, the moment moments we remembered. So, they're bringing these back. If you guys don't know what these are, they're just these super 
quote unquote super hard missions that you're able to do once a day and I think you get like gems for them or something I think uh, the base CP is like uh, 180 or some shit like that and you're able to use four units at a time on it pretty cool uh, basically whale packs are back um, super power up bonus or booster select so 30 bucks and you're getting 30 gems and I guess all of these stuff right here uh, cool not really anything special I guess uh, this pack right here is five bucks and you're really just not getting a whole lot um, nothing really special to say about that Ooh, I just hit my desk uh, diamond bonus special so right just different assortments of packs 120 uh, 140 or not 140 but 490 980 uh, 16, 49, and 100 yen, respectively. New battle event, uh, basically just the hero enhancement potions. We really don't need that. Uh, oh, yep, system changes. I do remember this. So uniques that are applicated to the deathmatch apply to disaster battles now. That's kind of whatever. Finally, the Knighthood War League is getting an expansion, but it's only two more guilds that get added onto it. So, 40 Knighthoods in total. Really sad. I would have liked to see them boost that to like the top 5% or whatever, but we're getting um, Knighthood Ward seating rules added. Uh, we're getting a different thing in the future, I guess, for uh, people who can't participate in the knighthood battles uh, hero max affinity increased from 200 to 250 that's whatever item storage event or item storage expansion this is really good I think uh, the max now is 150 give or take uh, so that's really good uh, change the channel and West District I don't know what that is uh, some bug fixes nothing really too crazy right there uh, Nanashi, yeah. AP pots will be in reverse to players who played the battle event when it was bugged. Five diamonds to the players who voted for the fan art between 6th and 17th of January. Alright, yep, that's it. Um, pretty okay update. Uh, banner wise the updates not really good but everything else you know it's given us content so I'm not too too mad about this um overall I, I give the update about six out of ten um, yeah that's about it um, I'll be having another video coming out here later but uh, for right now that's it y'all have a good day stay safe and I'm Audi Fibagillion later